my kittens. Welcome in to another episode of Grounded. Oh good, I'm live on Twitch, excellent. And YouTube is not live yet, why? YouTube, wakey wakey. I'm not feeling the best today, chat. I'm feeling a bit sick, if I'm honest. But I'm going to try to do... Uh, I don't know if it'll be the full length stream or part of the stream. I don't know. But hopefully just some progress. But forgive me if I don't sound the best today. And if I sound tired, because I am tired and I'm not feeling well. <laughs> But I will uh, try my best to be entertaining, nonetheless. Okay, we are live. Nightbot needs to join. Live on Twitch. Uh, my model seems to have desynced for some reason. I don't know why. I've got a calibrate button. What is going on? I have not. Yesterday it was fine. Today it is not fine. I do not need this right now. Not at all. Just give me a second chat. I'm just going to change the channel so I can access YouTube Studio again. Okay, it seems to be working now. I don't know what that was all about. Okay, I'm going to put this on the second screen so I can access it if I need to. What's it doing? Why is it resizing? There we go. Okay, I'm going to have to leave it on that screen, never mind. Sorry about that, technical problems. Yesterday's stream worked fine, today being iffy, but there we go. This is my continued good luck with technology. <laughs> I hope everyone's well today. Um, so I have decided to open this up to um, Discord members. So if you do want to play, just let me know in the chat. Make sure you tag me and uh, I will sort it out, basically. I've got my tablet close to hand. Can't play with Xbox players until it's resolved, but anyone who is a Discord member, which is via Patreon on the Five dollars a month tier, you will get access basically. Hello Defender, welcome in. My model keeps desyncing, let me know chat because that hasn't happened while live before. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Fingers crossed. Okay, so let's just dive in. Switch to the gaming screen, dive in, get this show on the road. I want to try and make some more progress today. I want to get some more uh, Fireflies stuff, I believe, the current things that I'm trying to get, and also just more quests, more progress, explore more of the map, basically. The base is looking so good, so good, it's so good. Right, let's just refresh my memory on what I'm trying to get. Yeah, so lots of firefly stuff. If I want the headlamp, which will be useful for when we're going back underground again. Eel tube as well. Eel grass, where do I get that from? Cup 
but from tall grass. But from tall grass. So taller than the grass that I'm already chopping then. I'm guessing I haven't found this yet. You aren't really streaming if there aren't technical difficulties. It's the bane of my existence, Kiva. Like, I feel like I've had so many technical difficulties recently. Like, I swear VTube Studio will be working fine one minute. Like, yesterday, fine, no problems. And then the moment I go live today, my model just decides to desync. And then the calibration hotkey that I have on my stream deck decides it's not going to work. So I had to, like, flip over the channel, load up VTube Studio again, and then for some reason it resynced itself. I don't even know. Like, <laughs> I just wish I didn't have technical problems as much as I do. I, I think people, like, I swear people probably think I'm lying or something about all these issues I have, but honestly, I don't. I don't know what sentient AI I have pissed off in my life, but clearly something <laughs> pissed off one of them. And ever since I have been cursed with... Uh, with these unfortunate mishaps. I also just need to turn off the Elgato sound and turn it back on again because the HDMI is doing the freaking jittering with the sound. It should be fixed now. I think it only does it on my end anyway, not for all of you, but it does it on my end unless, like OBS again. Well, as if to <laughs> demonstrate the point, more technical issues. Anyways, Anyways, what was it I was after? I believe it was just Firefly stuff. I'm pretty sure it was. There was something else though. Where is it? Was it the blade? Oh yeah, lava spike and acid gland. Where do I get them from? A sharp, dangly appendage taken from the corpse of a disgusting lava. Wouldn't that be inside an ant's nest then? I'm guessing. In an act inside an active uh, ant's nest. I'm thinking. Oops. And then the acid gland, a gooey gland for use in crafting. Well, that doesn't tell me where it comes from. I mean, I don't know. Okay. Might not be able to make that one then today. I don't know. Anyways, let's go. I do need to have a drink because I've got no water. That's not so bad. Uh, what cooking stuff do I have on me? I have this, and I have one more item. Apparently I've already got a lava spike. Where the heck did I get that from then? I forget. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I shall figure it out. It's fine. Right, before I go anywhere, I should be able to just get some water over here, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe the water droplets haven't formed. That's a shame. Well, off we go. I've got one bit of food. I think that should be fine for now. I can pick up mushrooms along the way oh yes yes sorry I want to take I want to take these because if if you recall on the last episode um, the fireflies were really difficult to kill in fact I didn't kill a single one but they looked like they were carrying acorn bits so I'm just wondering Lift and place, drop with L2. Yeah, I, okay, I can drop it. Nice. I'm just wondering if I drop it on the ground, if I can lure them down. 
it looked like acorn bits that they were carrying. I can't be positive, but I'm hoping I can lure, lure them down to the ground out of the sky with the acorn bits. That's the plan. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Right, let's go. Tiba, I feel like I need to give this game another go now that I have a better PC. Old one wouldn't handle it. Tried playing on Xbox, but I wasn't vibing with using the controller to play. Oh, really? Do you mostly game on PC now, then? Hey, no one likes a new neighbor. Because, um, you know, I, I prefer controller. Like, if I'm going to get a PC game, I will always look to see if it's got controller support. Okay, so I'm going to head back over to where the garden area is, which I think is up here. Oak Lab. Yeah, so I'm just going to place a little marker there so I know to head in that general direction. Um, let's just see if I can get what I need from this ant or not. It might be, like, the lava piece might just be from a general ant. Red ant part, red ant head, no. Okay. Inside an ant hill then, I guess. I mean, this is probably what bottled water is. Okay, quick drink. Filled up with drink, filled up with water now. Nice. Filled up with drink, filled up with water. That's the same thing. Filled up with drink and filled up with food. Uh, dry grass. I've got to look for the really tall grass as well. They all look the same to me. That's new. Got a new material chat. Hype, hype, hype. New material. Let's go. How is my juice container going? Is it full? Is it not full? It's probably not full, to be honest. Scoop. Right, got enough for two slurps. So I've just refilled my drink with uh, juicy juice. With the delicious juice of life. Won't say no to one of these guys either along the way. Grub hide. Round them up, grub hide. Round them up, grub hide. Yeah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Watched a lot of uh, westerns recently, so I think that's where that's come from. <sighs> Hang on a second. Is this something new in this hole? Like, can I chop the root? No. Okay, I was just wondering if I could chop that as well. So I don't think I thought of that before. Right, inside here there will there shall be and give me a second to let my eyes adjust to that. This is where we came before. 
I don't think it was the last episode. I think it was the one before that. But this is a good place where we can get plant materials. <sighs> I say that and then there's nothing down here. Keeper, unless it's a console exclusive, I use controller for a lot. But these survival crafting games always feel more comfortable to play with a mouse and keyboard to me. I think um, building would be a lot easier. I'll say that much. Like when I've tried to fine tune the building on something like small land, it can be pretty darn difficult. In fact, if I'm going to give some criticism of Planet Zoo controls, like sometimes there are these real decorative buildings and then there's like important facilities oh. within a large building. Hmm say like you know the staff room the the keeper room where they prepare the food for the animals and the lab and all that but like it's difficult like if it's an empty shell to go inside the shell of the building to place a new building so it'll like glitch out of it and it's really frustrating and i bet you something like that is far better Those with the mouse and keyboard like things to do and people to see I just give up. If it's a pre-existing zoo that I'm taking over a scenario on, I just give up. <laughs> I just build it somewhere else where there's space. I'm like, I'm not trying to do this. This is incredibly frustrating. Uh, okay, so there's more grubby grubs. And since I do have quite a bit to scan, actually, if we look at my inventory, I'll probably nip to the scanning area as well. I won't ever say no to the switch sap. I've not tried to cut down a rose yet, but something tells me I'm going to need the upgraded axe for that, because that's going to be a sturdy stem. Sturdy stem. So we're going to have a look around here. See what we can find. See what delights we can get. I won't say no to that either. Let's have a quick drink. Okie dokie then. Right. Tall grass. Do we think there's going to be tall grass in this area? way to find out isn't there run up to the grass and see what it says that's just regular grass how do we know what tall grass is because it's taller than the grass we've already chopped before i mean this one looks like a particularly large fella i'll take a particularly long shaft on him <laughs> but then it just says grass so i don't think it is what i'm looking for sadly no, it's just the same. <sighs> I hear them, but I don't see them. Can find. Right, they're the gnats. I think, aren't they? I think they are the gnats, right? Where was I before with that little light on the water? What was that? Oh god! Oh god, there's a bee. <laughs> there's a bee above me. What's that? There's something in the water? Oh, it's a tadpole! Oh my god, it's so cute! 
Oh, it's adorable. I want to go say hi. I want to say hello to it. It's not going to attack me, is it? Is it going to be my friend? Mr. Tadpole. Oh, Mrs. Tadpole. Where are you? It'd be cool if you could tame it and, like, use it to swim underwater. <gasps> That's one. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. I do need to get some air, though. I am kind of dying right now. Oh, there we go. I got air bubble. Can I... Mm. Can I kill them, though? Like, do will it give me a material? I feel bad. Okay, it won't let me attack, so I think I need... Oh. Oh! <laughs> I feel so mean, chat. <laughs> I'm conflicted. I think it's cute, but it gives me material. So that's going to be a load of new things unlocked again. All I mean, all the grass is technically tall, right? This is it, Defender. Took the words right out of my mouth. I'm meant to know what the tall grass is. It's all tall to me. I'm tiny. Oh. Yeah, the un underwater breathing thing is going to be so oh. useful because uh, you do not have a lot of air straight away. You're a cat now. It's very cute. I am a cat at the moment. Thank you. The deeper I go, the more dangerous it gets. That's what she said. I don't want to go too deep because I won't be able to breathe. I'll run out of... <laughs> oh my god. Make it worse. Make it sound worse, Kylie, why don't you? Just make it sound awful. Why not? Family friendly and all that. More algae. What was that noise? <gasps> oh my god! This is an underwater spider chat. Nope. Nope. Can you give me some air, please? I think it, I think it worked. I think it gave me air. Tall grass is found in the pond, so I am in the area then. There's loads that I need from this area, so I'm happy to... Oh! I'm happy to explore. Nope, 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 nope. Let's get out. Let's get out. We're safe. We're safe. Right. Let's build a temporary camp here, I think, is the way to go. Just a little a little bed to place our head. A rest if we get dead. Am I right, chat? Where is it gone? Raw tadpole meat as well. Good thing I'm hungry. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, 
shit. Oh shit. Wow. Okay, so two of them. <laughs> two of them are pretty difficult uh, in my current gear. That's fine. My backpack is right there anyway, so. Rabbit's look. Morton wore lipstick. They call pass. Ooh, looks like it's all still here. Damn, hey, it takes Tita, like half my supply. HP off. I don't need Trap. any West Nile virus. Where's my shield gone, by the way? Like. Like, wasn't I able to use my shield as well as my weapon before? Oh, well, so these are too t these are too tough right now. I think. I think I need to uh, come back to these when I've got some better gear. Are you playing this solo? I, I I am going to play with Discord members, but I don't think anyone's picked up the game to be honest. I can't play with Xbox users at the minute because there's an issue with the account syncing right now. So I can't play with them at the moment. Oh, grass. It better not be them. Right where all those enemies are. Let's go and have a look over here. I kind of want to see if I can interact with the, the lily pad stuff because I know I need that material as well. So let's have a gander up this way. It just says tall grass as a material and uh, Caitlin earlier said that it's here, it's by the pond. So I'm wondering if it's I wouldn't say that's grass though, to be honest. I mean, I'm not like a freaking. know it all when it comes to plants and all that, but <laughs> I don't think it is grass. Uh, if I if I get really stuck, I will ask for help in the chat. Like I'll ask chat. I'll say chat, what's this or where do I get this? But if I'm just saying a general, where do I get that? I don't actually want the help. It's just it's a commentary uh, thing of you know expressing my thought process and everything else. If I actually want chat to help me, I all I will always say chat in the sentence when asking the question, which I'm sure most streamers uh, do that anyway. Is that another juice box? Oh, it's milk? Oh shit! Oh shit! The bird! Let's see what we can find. A new one found. Crow! You know nothing, Crow! That was horrendous, I'm sorry. Right, anyways. I'm not here to ruin your experience. It's all good. Honestly, I'm quite laid back. Like, we said this on yesterday's episode. I'm, you know, I'm pretty laid back. Like, we do get, tend to get a lot of backseat gaming um, anyway, which I, I only really tell people off if they're being obnoxious about it. For the most part, I ignore it, but the rule is there. But, you know, like, I'm not gonna go all freaking She-Hulk <laughs> about it, you know? Oh! Fuck! What's that? Oh my god! It scared the shit out of me! What is it? Can I kill it? I don't like it. 
water boatman. I don't think it's friendly. I do not think it's friendly, and I don't think I'm ready. And now I'm out at night, which is not great. How are you with bugs and stuff? Uh, I'm not too bad. When I was a kid, I used to, like, hold bugs and everything. I used to, like, capture butterflies and, and like, put them in a box. I was a weird little child. Basically, like, I, I would be the first one to be suspected to be a serial killer because, like, I was weird with bugs when I was young. <laughs> I kept a dead bee as a pet for a while, put it that way. So, like, you know, I don't know what that says about me, but... <laughs> But yeah, I'm fine. Spiders, on the other hand, I do not like spiders at all. I wouldn't say I have a fear of spiders particularly. Like, I'm not, you know, I don't cry or anything. Um, I can I can capture spiders and, and release them outside when they happen to spelunk into my room. But I do have to build myself up for about 20 minutes and psych myself up to actually do it. So, yeah, <laughs> a little bit scared of spiders, which is weird because when I was a kid, I wasn't scared of spiders at all. I picked them up and everything. Oh, my God. Light. Burn back the shadows and turn away the inky depths of the night. Did I cook anything else? I don't think I did. Uh, can I... Can I craft a quick roasting spit? I don't have the dry grass or the pebblets, unfortunately. Is there anything else I can eat in my inventory that's not going to make me ill? Raw meat, raw meat, raw meat. It is a snack, it. apparently. Oh shit, I'm being attacked again. Mosquitoes. Splish splash, I'm taking a bath. I'm just gonna try and bypass them real quick. Where is the mosquito repellent when you need it? I'm terrible with bugs, but I love this game. I think the cartoony stylistic graphics do help a little bit, but it still can be pretty scary, I think. Um, you know, when I had that gank surprise kill with the spider yesterday, where it just came out of nowhere, I swear to God. It was in an area where the spiders don't normally hang out. And I was just chilling, putting my little, my little water capture bucket or whatever it is underneath the straw of the juice box, being all clever, chilling out, lining it up. And then out of nowhere, spider just jumps on me and kills me. And I screamed so loud. I think this is partly why I have a bit of a sore throat today, to be honest. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I'm not paying attention to my HP today at all, am I? Whatsoever. Oh, don't you dare. If I die again, do I lose all my materials this time? I've never died twice without uh, getting my fucking hat. I play on arachnophobe mode. That's fair. That's fair enough. Alright, we're heading over this way. Real quick. 
I would like to scan some stuff actually if I can because I've got quite a bit uh, in my inventory now that we can scan. What's this? What is that? Oh, is it a... Uh, what are these called? A pool, pool cleaner or something? I don't know. It helps to get all the gunk out, doesn't it? Where did you build your base? Uh, I, I've set up a, a little temporary base on top of the baseball at the minute. Built it on top of it. Dry grass. I don't think it's going to stay there. Right, so yeah, a pebblet now. So if I can find a rock, I can make the, uh, the spit to make some food. Basically. CJ, hey, how are you getting on? Died a lot already on this episode, CJ. I'm not feeling super well today. I've been feeling a bit rough all day, to be honest. So I've, I think I'm not playing as good today. Probably going to die a lot more on this episode, but it's fine. <sighs> Did I just see something? Let's see what we can find. Got a new one here. Stink bug. Alright, staying staying away from that, thank you. I don't want to be smelly, thank you very much. If I do want to be smelly, I want to be smelling nice. I don't want your stink, sir. No time for you. What is that? What's that? I hope you feel better soon and the game helps. Uh, are you having fun with it? I am very much having Scrabble fun along, with it. Conrad. Really, really enjoying it a lot. Frankenlein. <laughs> it's the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a pond side smash. Get it? Because we're pond size. A pond side. Well, not pond size. So that makes no sense. I'm making no sense. Draw. <gasps> oh, you could spend ages drawing something cool. I'm not going to. If I do do that, I'll probably do it off stream and come back and you'll see my my masterpiece. Oh, fuck! Oh, no! Oh, no, that's bad, is it not? How long will it chase me for? You can't dig over here because it's stone. <laughs> what is it? Bombardier beetle. With its big bulbous buttocks. Right, leave me alone so I can have some pebble, please. <laughs> CJ, been banging on to you for years about this game. Yep. I knew! I knew I wanted to play it. I... I don't know why I didn't just get it on Steam, honestly, you know. I've got a perfectly acceptable PC to play it, but I'm a console girl. I've always been a console girl, and it really upsets me to be forced to play on PC. <laughs> There's my uh, my weird mental gymnastics, my, how my strange brain works. I, I have to play on console if I can. I won't accept PC. The only game that's made me accept PC recently has been Power World. I wasn't going to wait for that. I, ha I just had to get it on PC. <gasps> oh! 
Oh no, I kicked it and it popped. I don't know my own strength. <gasps> Fuck! What was that? What was that? Jesus Christ. I did not expect today's episode to be endless jump scares. I think it's that big bulbous bombardier beetle again. Big butt bombardier. <laughs> Can I call it but bump bombardier bo but bo 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 <laughs> bon bombardier butt beetle. <laughs> Just leave me alone. I just want the materials. That's it. Right. Listen. If I leave you alone and you leave me alone, can I chop this? Right. Deal. I've made a deal now. Can't go back on the deal. Clover. I don't have a clover yet. Oh no, I do have a clover. Hang on a second. Do I? This one. This is the one. Oh, right. So you don't get the, the actual flower bit. You just get the, the leaves. The flower bit isn't the material. Okay, I get it. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Right. I can make the, uh, the cooking station now. So I'm just going to drop it down here so I can quickly... Oh. Yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm aware. I'm aware I need to cook. I am aware. Some pond side cooking. What have we got today? We've got some juicy bug giblets on the spit. <laughs> Beetle shaming. There's nothing wrong with a large rear. It's a little bit cheeky. And there's nothing wrong with that. I just want to take my meat, that's all I want. No truest sentence has ever been spoken. Should be enough now. Make sure I re-grab the materials so I can pop up my... my little barbecue anywhere I like. Hmm. I eat this normally. Right, where is that um lab again? I kind of want to go there. I think it's like oh god, our mission's away. Oak lab, it's over there. There's going to be loads of beds around my map because I always build them as like spawn safety points and then I don't dismantle them, I just leave them there. Oh Jesus Christ. Let's see what we can find. Keep the new one. Orb weaver. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh! What's that? Is this the flag thing? Nah, it's not, is it? I still don't know where that flag is for the uh, laboratories. I haven't raised the first one yet. Like, if I go to my quests... Find the hedge lab. Locate the hedge ascent. Raise the banner at Burgle Oak Tree Beacon. I went to there and I did not find the so-called beacon. I don't know where the frick the beacon is. Damien, hello. I hope you're well today. Where's me, uh... Did I not put it down? Sorry, I told you, I told you all I'm a bit scatterbrained today. Not feeling that great. It's over there. I was heading the right way, so it's all good. 
Not like in that spider web though. It has to be so oh! <laughs> Why hello there, ugly mofo. Would I be safer just diving in? I think so. <gasps> what was what equip it as a trinket for infinite gliding use i might have to drop my balls a second my, my screw on my uh, astonishing acid sacks because that is that is amazing <laughs> CJ after so many years of console wars it tops to see so many folks having fun with this and see a fees and playing together yeah I need to remember I've got early access to see a fees actually I think Thursday for me because I bought the uh the god edition <laughs> i don't think it's not actually called that but you know what i mean like the most expensive version i bought the big d edition <laughs> so i get early access for a bit i need some water quite desperately actually okay i have got no liquid left now uh, I did notice around this pond that there were like what looked like little balls of liquid on the walls, on the edges, which was quite interesting. Little, uh, little residue, as it were. One second, which way is it? Around the side, isn't it? Yeah. I've got to be careful because there's spiders around here, I'm pretty sure. If I remember correctly. I think I just went, like, cut through. I don't know if it was this way. Mmm, <sighs> so tasty. Tastes a bit of leaf, but it's fine. Oh, yes! I need these. I might have to come... Have I got space? I've got one slot. One slot is all I need. I'm not going to miss my chance, my moment. I'll never let it go. I've only got one chance. This opportunity only comes in a lifetime. <laughs> Fuck you all! <laughs> This is the spot! Oh my god, what's it doing? What are you trying to do? That's so cute! <laughs> oh, he's just... He's just bopping me with his body. That's adorable. He's trying his best in life, really. That's all. I'm full. <laughs> I don't really need the meat, though. I just need the fuzz. Oh, here's the flag! Right, so they are the flags. Learned something new today. Oh my god, don't fall down. Oh, oh, there's a web. There's a web. These gnats will not leave me alone. The thing is, we can make a quick escape because, uh,. Do not knock me off. That would have been so trolly. I would have felt bad for mocking the pathetic headbutts if it knocked me off the edge. Be like, okay. <laughs> Let's not underestimate the nudging power of the net.
Can I go higher up or not? No. Hang on a second. Is that even working? Hold to raise the flag. Alright, oh, right, okay. So I wasn't holding it long enough. That's what she said. You've got to hold it longer to make it raise higher, chat. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> no smut allowed. Where's my marker gone? I'm just in pure explore mode today, aren't I? I'm not even doing quests. I said I was going to do quests and I've gone into explore mode again. Happens to the best of us. Right, hang on a second. So where where is this? It's not under the tree. That's a lie. Is it around the other side? The lab. How do I remove waypoints, by the way? so cool spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down medicine go down in the most delightful way you like mary poppins It's not in the tree. I know it's not. Stop, stop trying to tell me to go in the tree because that's where the spiders are and that's where my death will be. Alright, it's this way. It's near the purple goo. Right. Lovely jovely. Best days of days exploring instead of main quests. Well, I've managed to find quite a bit to be fair, so. Right, where's the scan thing in here? Resource analyzer. Science! Damien, it's a stormy dark day here. The clouds are dark and it's been raining for a few hours. See, it was super sunny this morning. I went out for a walk to try and see if fresh air would help. And uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a nice walk. It didn't help though, it made me feel worse. <laughs> but yeah, it, it went really uh, dark and grey. Pretty much soon after I came back actually. I guess uh, I have the power. <laughs> I have the power to control the weather. I am. I am the storm. I can't analyze any more at the moment. Bob, sack is filled. Excellent. The way we likes it. Where's Burgle Boy? Where's me little big Burgle lad? Little, little big Burgle lad, that doesn't even make sense. Burgle! Burgle! There he is. Hello there, acting science manager Burgle at your service. How can I help you today? 
have some questions for you. I don't have any questions, actually. Where's the quest thing again? I've forgotten where that is. Is this it? Yes, it is. I've got a lot of science now. What's worth getting? Peblet Foundation, Fortified Bases, Torch Upgrade, Meat Shield. It increases max health. Kinda kinda sensitive for the meat shield. I've done it. No going back now. No going back now. Right, so I've killed the grubs. I've killed the gnats. I've raised the beacon. Refill quests, right? Craft smoothies, Battle of the Gulch, raise the banner of Burgor at the Trowel Gulch. Bird Bath and Beyond, raise the banner of Burgor at the Hedge Bird Bath. Probably not going to go there yet. I think I need to like work out what I need, like materials wise and stuff for crafting. Um, I could just go to craft. can make the garden patch. Boiling gland, I don't think I found that yet. I found the other stuff though. Smoothie station, that's easy to make. I can make that back at my main base. Spinning wheel, I need... Actually, I can make that as well. There's quite a few things I can make if I go back to my base. Sap catcher, ooh. Grinder. I don't think I can make that yet. I don't have the flower petals for that. We just get our own claptrap. It does sound like claptrap, but it's not the same voice actor, I believe. I think you, you told us that already, didn't you, CJ? It's not the same voice actor. Storage basket. Nice. Bounce web. A trampoline constructed of springy bug rubber and limber sprigs. That's interesting. Smithing station. Brittle placing. Where do I get that from? A nugget of hard... Hang on. What? Did I just click off that? I did. God oh, damn it. Processing. 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 Could really use some good drilling right about now. It's taking me to the Pavlet. When I click on triangle. The, the uh, bristle plating. So is that something I need to like put the pebble in the grinder to make the plating? I'm assuming. Like it's like a refined material could be wrong just a guesstimate <laughs> DJ I hope more devs get a chance to branch off uh, smaller teams and give them time to make their dream great Well, what I will say is after this being the third stream of this game, if I'm going to compare Small Land and Grounded, since I played Small Land first, they are similar in spirit, but I feel like this game has a lot more personality in it. Like, there's a lot of cool, cool nerdy things that have just, like, touched my soul. Touch my inner nerd. I love Small Land, don't get me wrong, I do. I do like it, but, you know, this has voice acting and the cool catchphrases and stuff, you know. I'm not going to say I like this more. You know, I've completed Small Land pretty much. 
and I think it's unfair to pass judgment until I've completed this as well. But yeah, uh, they both have their own charm and everything, but I feel like this has more personality. It's pretty much in small land. There's no VA, so you have to be invested into reading the text and the story that's there for you to find and discover, whereas this game, obviously, um, is, is a bit more immersive in that respect due to the VA. I do prefer VA in games, and I feel like most creators should strive to have VA, VA in games in this day and age, but obviously, you know, when it's an indie dev, that is more cost to the production of the game to get voice actors involved. So I do understand why some games don't have VA, but I personally just feel myself more connected to the characters if I can hear their voice and like feel emotionally connected to them. But that's just me. But I've played plenty of games without VA and I've been emotional. Uh, Golden Sun, you know, back in the day when I was younger, Golden Sun in particular, very invested in that series. Grandia as well, all the Final Fantasies. I think I'd maybe head back to uh, my main base, to be honest with you. What was it I wanted to craft with the... Um... Was it a weapon or something? What was it? I know I want this lava, lava blade, because then I can cut things. Oh no, no, that's not it, is it? Where is it? Peblet dagger, that's the one. Lily pad wax! Oh snap, I need the lily pad wax, so we need to go back to the lily pads then. And get this wax. I don't know how we get this. Maybe it's underneath the lily pads or something. Decoy bait, that's cool. Basketball, nice. And the bow. <gasps> I can make the bow! Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Got it. Can't make the arrows, but I will be at Thistle Needle. From a thistle plant. I don't think I've got the thistle needles yet. So I'm gonna have to find thistles as well to make the actual bow ammo and everything else I've made. Um, so the last thing is the padlet dagger. So I guess we're staying out here a bit longer so I can try and get this lily pad wax but do I have space? Thinking about it. The li lily pad wax. No, I'm pretty much full. So I think I'm going to have to go back to base and deposit all this and then come back again. <clears throat> Sorry, chat. I'm going to clear my throat. Is he actually cleaning? <laughs> A good little burgle. Oh, hang on a second before I leave. Uh, where's the water gone? I'll eventually get used to the layout in here, I swear. <laughs> At least it's not as bad as that time that I actually couldn't find my way out for a solid five minutes. Maybe I'm over exaggerating there. It's probably far less than five minutes, but it felt like five minutes to me. I kept missing that turn. I was just going in circles. I was like, why does it all look the same? Because it is the same. I'm never going to leave the lab. <laughs> Huh. 
Can I just repair this? Yes. Nice. Get me armor repaired. Beautiful. There we go. I don't know why that shield on the quits. Right, I need to head back this way. Caitlin, Kylie, do you have any cats? I don't have cats, actually. I would love to own some rescue cats when we get our own place eventually. Um, but I've had many cats come in and out of my life. There's been lots of cats that have lived down the street that I've become friendly with. We actually had cats that lived across the road um, when I was younger and they used to come and actually sleep in our house quite regularly. <laughs> I had next door's cat before she passed. She was lovely. She used to sneak in through my window at night and sleep on my face. <laughs> I don't know why she found sleeping on my face to be most comfortable, but she did. Or she'd like sleep on top of my feet. I just hear this purring in the darkness and feel this weight on my feet and I just knew it was Sally. So Sally was lovely. Harvey and Lewis lived across the road and they actually had quite a tragic backstory. They were abandoned and dumped in a box in a pond and they were the only two survivors out of a litter of, I think it was six, possibly seven kittens and they were the only two survivors and they were brothers. And they looked completely different because Lewis was a silver tabby and Harvey was a black and white cat. At least it's clean. Um, and yes. Lewis is actually who this current model is based off of. But I added channel colours instead and made it purple. And obviously now I've taken over it. So it's really no longer... It's the spirit of Lewis, but I've taken over it and it's now Kylie Cat or Kylie Kitten. <laughs> so there's some backstory on the model. Um, but Lewis or, will always have a special place in my heart because I, I really bonded with that cat. He'd always come sleep on me and, you know, was always happy to see us and would often be over at our house or in the garden and stuff. He was a lovely cat, really friendly. Um, and then there's loads of other cats that live near Chris's house that I'm friends with as well. Is it weird to say I'm friends with cats? I don't care. I love cats. <laughs> So, yeah, hey, there's no been a lot of cats. Neighbor. There was also Marmite that used to live down the road, and she was a very old cat. She was basically old since I knew her, pretty much. She didn't have a full function of her tail because she got hit by a car, so she lost um, the function of her tail. She couldn't raise her tail. It was just basically limp, but the owners didn't want to have it amputated or anything. It wasn't harming her to keep it on. She just couldn't lift it anymore, so it was just basically a limp um, tail. She also had a bit of bladder issues from being hit by a car as well, but she was lovely. She was a very friendly cat. Um, I'd often just go up and stroke her and the owners were really nice they always said if you just see her on the doorstep you can walk up our drive and just stroke her if you like um so i often did that I, i'd often see her on my way back from school actually and just give her a, a friendly pet so she was lovely she was a ginger tabby um and then of course the cats around chris's we've got norman we've got gordon We've got Walter, we've got Rosie, we've got Eric. Well, Norman we don't have anymore. Norman passed, sadly, but loads of cats around there. Uh, my auntie had a cat called Thomas as well. And he was actually a, a, um, an abandoned cat that they found and my auntie took him in. Caitlin, that's cool, but kind of sad. I actually have three cats, and my real name is actually Orion. Orion is such a cool name. Um, it's not too weird to say that you're friends with cats because I am. Um, I don't. Yeah, I don't think it's weird to say that you're friends with your animals because animals are very in tune to you, and they 
you know, they react to your emotions. And I've had a lot of animals that have been been there for me in difficult times and been protective of me. There was actually a dog. <laughs> I think I've spoke about this dog before. Um, his name was Boxer. Does anyone remember me talking about Boxer? So Boxer is a dog that did... I thought he was a stray originally when I met him. But I, I actually found out from a girl in school that uh, he, he is actually owned, but he was an escape artist and he used to travel from town to town, some, in some cases miles and miles, and he even would travel to a city and he had multiple different names and loads of people would feed him and take him in at various points and then just let him loose and he would travel between loads of homes. <laughs> Even though he had, a, had an actual home. I knew him as Boxer, but I, I know that another name he did go by was Blackie. Um, but he was quite old as well. But he was super protective. I remember when I bumped into him on the street and he just came over and like I gave him loads of fuss and he was like wagging his short little stompy tail. Um, and then like a group of lads were coming down the street um, after I, I said, off you go, boxer, and he just goes, basically. And uh, a group of lads turned the corner and started coming down the street, and he just stopped quite far away, spun his head around, and absolutely legged it all the way back to me, and then stood with his, like, basically growling and baring his teeth at this group of lads with his body, like, across my legs. Um, yeah, he, I don't know why he thought they were to particularly, like dangerous or something there, there was no vibes or anything i didn't feel threatened by them or nothing but he just like for some reason came back and was like super protective and these lads like <laughs> they gave us a wide berth and crossed the road i've never seen him react that way as um you know around me before i've never seen him be behave that way before so i was a bit worried because he's not my dog he didn't have a lead and i was like please don't go and bite these lads i can't like what am i meant to do in this situation but luckily once they had gone um far enough away he kind of did this, this like little Probably snort not. this little happy like <sighs> and then he like <laughs> and then he trotted off and that was actually one of my last memories of him i didn't see him that much after that and then i didn't see him again he was quite old though at that point so i think he probably passed but he was a lovely dog uh right so i was gonna craft some things wasn't i i can actually make the garden patch if I want, but I would need to get some more weed stems. Okay, let's just make what we can so far. I can make the smoothie station, which I think would be best there-ish, I guess. Nice. Spinning wheel, I need some rope for that. And the grinder, which we still need the flower petals from. Oh, maybe I should have attempted to go up to those roses. And see if I could get the petals from the roses. Thank you for saying my name is cool and also Boxer sounds cool. He was called Boxer because I'm pretty sure he was a cross um, between a Boxer dog and something else. I think I was... I, I remember vaguely... A Labrador but he was like far more boxer than Labrador like he looked mostly boxer and then just black fur essentially so he did not have much of the Labrador gene at all <laughs> but he was lovely he was such a lovely dog target oh is that to practice with the bow that's quite cool, actually. 
I'm probably not going to make it now. I'll make it when, when we make the bow. Sap catcher as well, which I'm not going to make. So, flower petals. A soft petal from one of the yard's flowers smells like grandma. So, when we go back to the pond area, I'm going to try and get some flowers. Need more berry. Berry leather? Hang on a second. Crude rape. Oh, is that a better way of making it then? Oh, it's made out of the, the top of the acorn. That's cool. And then we got the smoothies as well. It's healing. Ooh, okay. <gasps> Look at the dancing grub! I've just noticed it! Oh, why is it cute? <laughs> it's so happy. CJ's spiritual successor to one of the Vita's best games, Soul Sacrifice, is now available on VR platforms. Uh, what game is that? Well, Whiskers Waters is coming out tomorrow. Well, for the Switch, it's uh, the 25th. Yeah, uh, Whisker Waters is one I definitely got my eye on. In fact, I might actually pick that up depending on how much it is because it is a cat game. And it is a fishing game, so it combines some of my two favourite things to do in games. <laughs> cozy, cozy vibes, chill vibes, and cat. Soul Covenant. Hang on, I've seen that game floating around, but I haven't taken the time to actually look into it and see if it's decent. I think there's um, a developer discussion video. I'm pretty sure it popped up on my feed earlier today, so I'll have to check that out tonight when I'm chilling out, when I'm chillaxing in bed later. Thank you so much for the heads up, CJ. I'll definitely have to check that out. I think they should completely remake Soul Sacrifice Delta and re-release it. Honestly, the game is that good. I've actually um, recently found my PlayStation uh, TV again. And I was saying to Chris, when we actually finally live together, I do want to do a playthrough and show him that game because I think he'd enjoy watching me on it. Because obviously he likes watching me on things like Monster Hunter and Dark Souls and all that, so... You know, I think he'd enjoy that game. It's just such a phenomenal game. It's definitely way up there as my second favourite game in the hunting genre after Monster Hunter. Tops Freedom Wars for me. Said it before and I'll say it again. Alright, I'm going to craft this smoothie because I'll probably be able to scan it. What's this do? Hauling strength and heals. Fuller helps to keep, I'm guessing moist helps with uh, maintaining first level as well and it heals. Falls on the rock, max health and heals as well. Nice, okay. I'll craft five smoothies, hang on a second. Will it count the same one again? It does. Okay. Great. Science! Probably should put the bow away for now because uh, I don't have the ammo anyway, so it'd be a waste to carry it around, honestly. Okie dokie then. I need to keep some stuff on me because 
I won't be able to build certain things if I don't. Oh, the bath is being run chat, so let me just pause it and BRB real quick so I can just nip to the loo and what have you. It looks pretty impressive. I think it may have similar staff members. I'll definitely have to check that out then. DM'd you an article. Legendary. Thank you very much. Thank you for providing me the knowledge. I will definitely have a gander. When is it out? Better not be soon. I've got too much games. <laughs> too many games. Not enough time. I was intending to cover uh, Whisker Waters actually, but obviously with Grounded being announced. I had to pick. I had to be brutal. Basically. Can't cover everything. There's even multiplayer. Oh, there had to be multiplayer. There just had to be multiplayer. <laughs> sorting out me bags. Give me a second to sort my bags out. Let's just quickly go to bed real quick. Oh, by the way, if you are wanting to play with me, as I said, you just, you just need to be um, a Patreon supporter of $5 a month. And uh, it's not just VIPs to play this game with me. I'm opening it up to anybody on my Discord. And as I say, to get Discord access, that is uh, the $5 tier on Patreon. And you can play with me, I don't mind. I, I really want to play with people if I can. Oh, did I put that in the other box? Yes, I did. Very lava. Beauty lava. I don't even know what accent I was trying to do there, but it was awful, whatever it was. Each one can only be used once. Can you grow these then? Hold on a second. But I've got this one. A perfectly fluffy puff of dandelion stuff. Equip it as a trinket for infinite gliding use. So this one is infinite. And I'm guessing because it's sparkly, it's quite rare, right? Night Raid. Kitty, hi there. Meow, meow, meow. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing today? Welcome in. <laughs> right, I need to... I can't... Scan these, can I? No, I can't scan that. 
Okay, I'll probably just keep one smoothie on me then. Let's put the... The astonishing sack in there. <laughs> And I think I'll just pop the rest of the smoothies in here, I think, for now. I don't need all of them. Oh, hang on. What materials do I need for the cooking part? Because that is useful to be able to cook that. Like, just pop it up. Uh, Peblet, sprig and dry gra grass chunk. Tablet, sprig, and dry dra gra gry dress? <laughs> dry grass. I can't even speak. <laughs> oh my god. What is happening to me? I don't know. I told y'all I'm not well today. I'm not I'm not well and I'm not making sense. So if you can pass together some of the weird stuff I'm saying, well done. <laughs> That's a feat, quite frankly. Cook me cook me giblets. Have me food. Oh shit. Oh, thank you. And I'll be having Oh, it's pretty good. Do you need to get some water as well? That's not so bad. All right, so we got some food. On, on me. Bug rubber, I'll put that away as well. Okay, that's good. Good to go. So what are we looking for? Those aphids look like they Flower have petals, to do and people um, to see. And the wax. Said that in such a weird way. The wax. Turned into a snake very briefly. Happens to the best of us. Or the worst of us, I suppose. In my case. Take some of that. And if we're careful. Ah. Which we weren't. <laughs> it's this one. Oh, did it splish splash into the puddle and disappear? It did. God dang it. Night Raid, well, I just got off of Pokemon Coliseum to search Shiny Shadow and Tay for now. I'm taking a vacation. Vacation! Nice. I don't know when my next vacation is going to be, to be honest. <sighs> Oh, we've got the little bugger after what me again. Oh, let's not use about. the torch. Burn it with fire! Ah! I panic equipped the torch, chat. You didn't see anything. Actually, I, I, the, the end of next month, I know Chris has booked like a long weekend off, so I'll probably marry that up with him and have that off. And then uh, June or July, I think, it's been booked off as well, something like that. Have you got any nice plans for your vacay? Are you going anywhere? Or are you just chilling out doing some gaming? Never say no to grubs. Never say no to the grubs. Oh, 
I'll get my groupy hands on the groups. I'm, I'm hoping we get some more news about the next Pokemon game soon, actually. Right, I'm heading for the roses, because if you recall, we do need the petals, so... I mean, this is probably Ooh, free what globlet. Thank you very much. I'll be having that. I'll be wetting my whistle. And thistles! Speaking of whistles, we need some thistles. Whistle just made me think of thistle because it rhymes. <laughs> There's logic there somewhere. Where are the thistles actually? By the by the hedge, actually. Keep saying that word, I need to stop. Actually. <laughs> it's gonna be uh, by the hedge, isn't it, I reckon. That's where thistles normally are, right? By a hedge. I mean, I might be just hedging my bets. <laughs> oh, there's ground petals for free. Yes, please. And there's loads of water. This area is generous for water, actually. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's a little tiddler. It's a tiny tiddler. Can I take it off? Just strafe, just strafe and hope for the best. Oh, fuck! Okay, I'm not taking- <laughs> Why is it not using its legs? It's just gliding. I think it's glitch, chat. Oh, it started using its legs a little bit now. Fuck me, that's... Where's my shield? I've been poisoned! How much did I deplete it by? I don't even think I depleted it that much. Taking a look around. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Where's Big Mama? <sighs> right, before anything. Oh shit. Before anything. Let's just I'm actually going to switch out this because it's just too slow for these quicker enemies. You're hunting for it for 12 hours and 36 minutes. Damn. That's dedication. I haven't done a shiny hunt in a hot minute. I don't. Oh, fuck. Okay, there it is. I need an antidote. Oh my god. Like I don't know why people said the perfect block on this game is easy. The window is smaller At least than the head clean. of a needle, honestly. Yes. Like, the perfect blocking on small land is so, so easy. Like, the window is so large, but on this game, I'm finding it impossible to perfect block the attacks on this game, which means I'm just taking so much damage all the time. Which is kind of frustrating. Hopefully I can get used to it. Otherwise, it's going to be more difficult than it needs to be. I don't know if there's a setting I can change to make it a bit better. 
They're not thistles, are they? Scrabble along, comrade. Don't think so. Anyway, I'm going to go to the lily pad and try and get this lily pad wax. At least I'll be possibly successful at that. <laughs> I'm guessing it's under the lily pad. What was that? There's a couple. Right, can I be oh. sneaky and just go and grab that petal without being attacked, maybe? <laughs> yeah, this area is so generous for... Uh, water for water and also for air under the water as well which is nice <laughs> i still want that underwater breathing thing because that means i can go deeper though it's been aquatic adventures today i think Is this game like that one movie where the kids get small because of the machine? I mean, a lot of people do compare it to Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I've not seen that in years, though. I can barely remember that movie, to be honest. There's another tooth over there. Oh, there's a spider. All those underwater spiders again. Mm. My god, this game is pretty. It is. Look at the cute tadpole. Stab it! Meat. You meet your maker, tadpole. That was awful. What's that? Locked. <laughs> just while I'm here, I'm just getting as much of this uh, lily pad wax as I can get, really, for now. I still need the uh, fireflies as well, so I kind of want to hang out here until night time.
Don't kill the tadpoles. <laughs> I have to kill the tadpoles. I need the materials. There's loads of them. It, they are a good source of meat. Easiest place to get meat, really. There's just so many of them in the water. There's a spider there. Where have I put my bed? I did put a bed round here somewhere. I think it was over there, wasn't it? Oh, can I go in that building? Taking a look around. should just call this episode Exploring the Pond because that's really what it is, isn't it? Taking a dip. Exploring the Pond. I might get some more algae as well. Just because we didn't get all that much, really. And it seems like it's used for the smoothies, which are a good resource for healing. Let's get my stems back. Orientate myself a bit. I'm gonna go over there. CJ, can you imagine playing this on a train on the Switch? <laughs> I don't know what it runs like on the Switch, to be fair. Shit. What's attacking me? A spider. I think it was an underwater spider chat. Not so bad. That tastes surprisingly not terrible. Is it following me? Are you kidding me? I'm in quite a large body of water now, like no lily pads to take refuge on. I hope nothing comes to try and eat me right now. Let's just stay above this shallow area where it's safe. What's that? Can I swim into it? No. Okay. Mr. Oh! Oh! Jesus Christ. Thank you, Dave, <laughs> for uh, scaring the absolute bejesus out of me. I think my soul actually left my body there on that just a little bit. I possibly lost one of my nine lives. <laughs> oh, fuck. I need to go up the leaf again. Right, there is a bed round here somewhere, chat. I know there is, because I swear I made it. Down this way, I'm pretty sure. Because it's near these guys. I might demolish it and just make a new one a bit further up there. In fact, I will just make one here. And always quickly uh, demolish the other one. It's all about the timing. <laughs> well, I was immersed under the water, to be fair, so that was good timing. There's loads of the buggers now. Loads of them. Dozens of them. Dozens. Cycle. 
don't even want these ones yet. I want the the fireflies, which I need uh, night time. Maybe I should rest. Can I rest till night? I didn't even look. I should look. I should look at these things. They're pretty darn important. Use. Sleep eight hours. Two awake. I've got to wait. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at this. Lovely. CJ, I'd imagine the Switch version is 30 FPS, probably less detailed, draw distance a bit less foliage, but the core game is probably still there. Yeah, exactly. It'll probably look the best in handheld mode, which is fine. Which is fine. Taking a look around. A load of stuff on that table. got the wax it's the thistles and the tall grass i'm still not seeing where the hell you get tall grass from in here y'all said by the pond but like all the grass looks the same so i do not know oh <gasps> fuck there's a fish in here <laughs> Where is it? Can it get to me on the lily pad? Imagine if it behaved like a killer whale and it like would do the whole thing where it swims underneath, creates a wave and throws you off the lily pad. <laughs> oh my god, that would be terrifying. Threat detected. Which is the uh, the gnat? It is a koi cock. Yeah. Oh fuck! There's a big spider as well. This place is so dangerous for me. I'm only small. Right. Nothing can get me in here. This is like an area of safety now. What's that? Can I get on that? It's definitely something. Oh! Alright, I just had to be careful. Nice! Weesh. Fuck. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that tactful jump though. I'm not. I'm not ashamed to be running away from those. They are horrible. Is that the tall grass there? That looks like dry gra grass to me though. Let's go see. I might have found it, I don't know. I do not know, but let's go investigate. Let's go discover the truth of the situation. Better not be anything in here that's scary. It's just dry grass, it's not tall grass. Right, did I see if I could chop down these or not? I don't think I did. 
Oh, I'm going to need that blade thing though. What does that cost me again? That costs me... Through rope, which... Plant fibre. I could actually make that pretty easily, actually. Oh, <gasps> fucking hell. Weeping makes me feel a little creepy. Cue the George music. <laughs> a panic on our hands on the 4th of July. Aphid on the move. Here we go. If I chop this, oh, chop it, not shovel it. Oh, that's dry grass as well. Is it not normal grass? This is normal grass, isn't it? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> That's how I feel about that large one coming at me. You're all right. That's grass plank. Hang on, it's grass uh, fibre, isn't it? That's from these small ones, right? I forget. Or was that sprig? That's a sprig. Ah! Yeah! That's clover. Why I get this bloody material from? Oh, well. so I need one more. Where did I get that from? get fiber from the stumps ah right okay cheers my dears oh i need more Oh, it's gone warm in here now, Christ. Let's take this jumper off in a sec. Boiling bambinos. Boiling. Got it. Got the dagger. might actually switch out the hammer for now just because I'm not really using it around here right now. Hey aunt, what's the news? And also or maybe let's let's put the hammer back in and I'll switch the torch out for now.
can't tell if that's a thistle. <clears throat> Let's have a look. That's nothing. It's just scenery, actually. That's a thistle, isn't it? That looks like a thistle to me. Thistle needle. Oh, God, what is it? What is it? Where is it? I don't think it's anything to uh, a threat to me. It's just it sounds worse than it actually is. Is that all I could grab? Or is there more? So I can't chop it down, but I can steal its spikes. I think that means I can craft the ammo for the bow now. I think. <clears throat> oh my god, that is well costly. Like, I've got loads of the might fuzz, but... That's a lot of... Thistle needles for 10 ammo. Damn, that's that's kind of ridiculous actually. <laughs> Unless there's a different kind of thistle that you can get an abundance of, uh, of, of spikes from, maybe. I'm going to have to be on the lookout for that and I'm going to have to try and gather as much of them as I can. just want to double check and see if I've gotten what I need from this area. I just need... I need the fireflies, so I need to head back to the water. Cola? Apple. Huh. Nice. One of these days I'm going to just like go straight into one of these cans and there's going to be some large creature in here just waiting to kill me. Feel it now. At least it's clean. Ish. God, it's so dense in here. It's really hard to see which, like, one <sighs> the water's on. It's all right. I don't want any of your apple. You're fine. Oh, there's a lot more thistles if you uh, spikes if you climb on the leaves. Okay. Oh, <gasps> gold mega milk molar. Wow, the texture of this reminds me, and I don't know if you're still here, CJ, but this reminds me of when things would, uh, like the giant Godzilla creatures in the Tomorrow Children would uh, fall and then they would basically turn to this texture and become mineable. In fact, Dave, you played that game as well, so you'll know what I mean. 
Kind of reminds me of that texture. Oh, Smart Children is such a good game. I still like go on that, like on the old occasion, um, mm. just to chill out. See what I mean? Now, it, uh, to me, it does. It looks like that kind of similar texture. Right, I'm gonna head to the uh, thistle. Mega Molo on top of the cola. <laughs> it's a cautionary tale. That's what happens if you drink too much sugary drinks, kids. <laughs> All right, so you said climb up, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I see them now. So one thistle can give you so many. Let's just wipe it out, honestly. Clear it of all its spikes. If I can make the bow, maybe I'll have a better chance at fighting the spiders. I don't know how much damage the bow is going to do to them though. It'd just be nice to be able to fight from a distance in this game since I'm so shit at blocking on this game. I am alright if I fall though, chat. Remember, I've got my uh, my special dandelion Mary Poppins umbrella. I can just float down like Mary Poppins. Okay, I can forget. Oh shit! Like that. <laughs> I can forgive. Uh, the cost of it now because how many has that given me that's given me whoa that's given me 56 right and it costs five so that's going to give me a lot of ammo when i go back cj some parent is going to pick this up for their kid thinking it looks cute um, and it's going to be they're absolutely going to shit themselves. <laughs> I've had a lot I've had a lot more jump scares on this than I have on small land, if I'm being honest. Um, of like just various creatures like coming out of nowhere. They kinda sneak up on you on this game. And I don't really feel like I got that snuck up on in, in small land. Right, what was the other thing I needed? There's loads of stuff I can scan now, though. Made that. Got all the stuff. Oh, I can make the upgraded hammer. Actually, that's not a bad weapon either. That's a uh, stink bug. Oh, so I'd have to kill the stink bugs for that. Okay. Armor wise, there's nothing really new. Uh, we still need the, the firefly stuff, basically. Eelgrass strand and silk rope right from the spiders for the gill tube. I'm a, I am actually still thinking of making the um, the acorn armor as well, just because like it will protect me a bit more. Um, okay, where is it? I want to go. There was a big tree. I, I think I'm like missions from it, to be honest.
oak lab. That wasn't it, was it? Was that the lab? Well, actually it probably is, because I climbed up the tree and there was a juice box in the branches. Was that that lab then? I don't want to head there if it is, because uh, there's a load of berries. I need more berry stuff and there's a load of berries around there. No, it wasn't that tree because it was like... It was low down. It was a low down tree because I was able to climb up it. So I'm confused about where that was. Coffee dispenser. I know it was near the pond. There's another flavour scheme there as well. Actually, it wasn't a lab, it was a field station, wasn't it? Because it was a tent in the tree. Was it this one? That's well far from the water though, I could be wrong, it might not be that one. That one's on the way back. Actually, I think that was the one I tapped on the way back. Hedge I've totally lost about where that was then, because it's not looking for any... All those locations aren't looking familiar. The hedge lab area has berries, but that's like southeast of the map. I mean, that's that to me looks like I haven't been there, though. I must have been there, actually, because these are unlocked. Maybe it was that then. Maybe I did just accidentally stumble across it without realising. Uh, okay, I'll make my way there then. Which is this way. I mean, this is probably what bottled water is. Yeah, I've got enough slots for stuff, so it just saves going back into. I think it's just better to just get over there if I can. Get some berries. quick top up since it was there getting quicker at like doing that and also like I've, I've kind of learned that instinctually now to just look for the droplets keep that nose to yourself So cool. That is so cool. I think I said actually before discovering that today, I'm pretty sure on the last episode I was like, oh, I wonder if you can get some kind of like glider out of a leaf or something. It turns out you can't. Oh, what's down here? Really? Oh, those little spiders look so delicate. Spiderling, that means there's a parent spider oh. somewhere.
Can I kill this one? What are you first? Try and cut down the stuff in the pond with a knife. To be honest, I forgot. I've, I've gone past that now. So, oh, here comes the parent. Oh fuck! It's huge. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> you all right, bud? You seem to be having a moment. I do need to get back over there though. I'm gonna have to be careful because the the big spider's hanging out. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? I don't mind fighting the little guy. I can just tank the hits from them. Oh fuck. I <laughs> say so I don't mind fighting the little guy and then the, the parent is just like waiting. Waiting in in the freaking grass. <laughs> uh. The unmistakable sight of a larva. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? Taking a look around. Horrible. Got a new one here. Oh, I needed that actually. Trying to chop down the belief to kill me. Right, okay, let's give it a go. Uh, let's, give it a go. let's give it a go. Should probably build a bed though, because <laughs> I am quite far now. There's going to be loads of beds everywhere, <laughs> just so you're all aware. Oh, it's obstructed, is it? Is it? Oh, where's it gone? Oh, not you. Wanted the... A lava. I think it's cheesed off because it's gone to daytime and it doesn't like the sun. <laughs> Horrible little mites. go this is where I wanted okay so there should be berries around here there's also another apple I didn't see that before oh cassette I don't think I found that last time I was here what is that oh here here it comes Fuck. Fuck. Shit. 
was losing. Oh, I've got no. Uh... Oh my god! Seriously. tiny like is there a way to make that better because that is ridiculously small for blocking backpack is over there i'll have to go get it Definitely harder this game than Small Land. Like, I barely died in Small Land compared to this. That's mostly because the block is just like. The block window is so small. Let me just have a look. Options. I don't think I can. I don't. Hang on. Game settings. Recipes unlocked, all recipes free, crafting, buildings, building. Handy Nat. Handy Nat is a helper you can activate and control to fly around and design bases. Book spawns. All oh, right, that was a setting on small land actually. Bugs ignore players. Um, which is was a good way to just like if you wanted to just grind out materials, you could just turn this on so you weren't getting attacked. Other than if you attack them first, which was pretty nice. Creature health scaling, player damage, friendly fire. Stamina drain rate. Stamina is required to use tools, sprint and attack. Toggle this on and off if you want to be able to perform actions without requiring stamina to regenerate. This can make combat and exploring more enjoyable. Uh, it won't let me change anything, actually. Everything is locked. Is that because I'm on medium? Like, if you change it to mild, like, can you change things? No. I just wanted to fine tweak a couple of things, like, not fully change the, the mode. But it's all greyed out, and I don't know why that is. Backpack items on death. See, I'd like to change that, because I changed that on small land as well. I don't... Don't like that. Faction, food spoiling, equipment durability. See, I'd be tempted to turn off stamina drain. Um, simply because that would help me with the blocking, and I don't see an option to make the blocking window bigger because that's what I was looking for. I was looking to see if that was an option mainly, was to like make that window bigger, but it doesn't seem to be there so the only other option i think is giving myself the infinite stamina um but i don't know whether it won't let me change this because i'm in the game like i'd have to change it before i load in maybe 
so that's something I'll probably look at before the next episode, more than likely. The stamina is a big hindrance in this game, I'd say. Like, that's definitely a criticism I have of this at the moment, is like... Um, didn't really have too much issues with stamina in small land. I don't think there's any on the floor from what I can see. I might have to just go back up into the tree again and knock them down. That's annoying about the block. I was really hoping hoping you could like, oh, make, you know, block window, you know, normal, medium and large. And then like, I would have turned it up to like medium and tried it out or something, but it's not there, which means it's kind of like either going to force me to uh, turn the stamina thing on so my stamina doesn't deplete. Can I knock these down? Oh shit! This is where the bow would be handy, wouldn't it? To just shoot them down. I don't know if you can collect your arrows once you've fired them. That would be a nice quality of life thing as well, but I'm pretty sure you probably can't. <laughs> Would be nice if you could, like if they stayed for a set amount of time. So if you were quick enough, you could get, get the get the arrows back. Uh, I can't get to them, can I? It'd be really dangerous. Right, let's just walk on the ground for a bit and see if there's any more berries on the ground. I thought they would just like respawn, but seems like I already picked all the ones up off the ground before. But there might be some ones that I missed, so let's just walk around a bit and see. How long do you think you'll continue until you stop streaming? It's kind of a loaded question, Caitlin. I don't want to answer that, to be honest. What's that? Ooh, free loot. What is it? Uh... Omelant. It's not how you spell omelette, is it? Brittle quartzite shard. I'll take it all. I'm going to have to have some food as well. Pretty soon. Have I not got any more cooked food? I can eat the algae, I suppose. In a pinch. Or alternatively, throw down the roasting spit and do a quick cook sesh. That's probably the way to go about it, actually. Or did you mean tonight? Is that what you meant? I thought you meant like in the future. If you mean tonight, uh, I don't know, I might come off a bit early tonight. As I say, I'm really feeling rough now and very tired, so I might just end a bit early tonight, I think. Even though 
I don't know, I think I have done quite a bit on this episode. I've explored the pond area, I've managed to get some new materials. Ooh, there's a spider there. Keeping makes me feel a little creepy. Oh, that's the spider. S oh, if we could get that without attracting the spider, that's a new material. Maybe I should make a quick bed again. <laughs> How many beds are going to be scattered around my world? Although, to be fair, if anyone does decide to join me on multiplayer, I guess there's multiple like areas for spawning people, including myself. But to answer the question about streaming tonight, normally I'd stream another 35 minutes, but I'm probably going to finish up real soon with uh, how I'm feeling. Look at that spider! Oh, fuck! <laughs> it looks amazing! Oh, and a little concerning. Probably gonna get killed now. Or did I get away? I might have got away actually. I think I did. Nice. There's loads of spiders around here though. I'm gonna have to be so careful. There's a little one there, but there's sacks that I could pop if I killed this one. Just don't know if there's any spiders that are up in the tree. It actually isn't this the way to This is the hedge, isn't it? Fuck. There's the spider. I'm not ready for the spider. I don't even know when I'll be ready for the spider. Better gear. <laughs> oh my god, they're everywhere! <laughs> Dave, roll on next week so I can kill a shark in Sea of Thieves. I am so hyped to play. I don't know when I'll be on it though. Um, I might try and get on Thursday or Friday because I forgot. For some reason I thought we get early access Saturday. Uh, and Sunday, but it's it's actually Thursday, Friday. Well, it starts Thursday, basically. Here's the new blade. I don't have the bow on me, Caitlin. I put it in storage. I have a. I can make a more if I go back to my main base because I've got loads more in storage. on the 25th if you have the premium edition. Yep. I might see if Chris, I mean Chris mm. has just started mm. his new job so he's like quite tired at the moment so I don't know if he's going to be on so straight away. Um, I'll probably mention it to him tomorrow and let him know that early access for us starts on Thursday. I don't know whether he'll jump on Thursday and Friday after work or something. Um, but I'll be streaming on the Thursday though, not unless I do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week. So I've got Thursday to play Sea of Thieves. I won't be streaming for Sea of Thieves before anyone asks. That is a game that I'm going to be playing for me, for Chris, and with any Discord members that want to play, I am not streaming it. Don't trust other people on comms not to say shit. Obviously not my community members, but kids over freaking voice chat, you know what they're like. Swearing and saying slurs and all sorts of things, so I'm not gonna risk it. It's just not worth it. Go 
talking to while lurking. Nice. I got spun around. Hang on a second. Where am I going? Where am I going? I might just head back to my house, actually. I did say that's what I was going to do, didn't I? Is it safe? Before I forget as well. Uh, let's just take some food. Hmm. I eat this normally. What are you cooking, Jamesy? <sighs> Might quickly test the bow out when I get back to base. Oh, one more second. Yeah, so I can cut down the grass in here as well. I just want to test something, actually. So... Oh, is this another f Oh, nice! It's another thistle. Hang on a second. We're going to have to scale this thistle and get all the spikes again. Well, another 10, because I don't actually have... Uh... Can I mark this on the map? Oh, shit. I just chucked my weapon. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> right, place waypoint. No, not place waypoint. How do I get rid of the waypoint? Go fly somewhere else, Nat! Remove waypoint. There we go. Oh, I've got a craft uh, signal thing, haven't I? Craft. Craft the trail marker. Custom marker. How? How should I? Make it so it's a thistle. What symbol looks like a thistle? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing looks like a thistle here. Um, I might just use this. Because it's got pointy edges on it. And it's going to be green. It's the only way. It's the only way. Don't worry, I'll go and get my weapon in a second. Dave still can't believe it took almost, almost an hour to find a stone gate. See, when I was telling you about the arrows above that archway, I mean, that was still a stone, what I would consider a stone gateway because it's still an archway. And then it was like, oh, there's a, there's a message above. So like, I was confused. Uh, I thought it was that. I thought it was to do with the arrows above the freaking door and it wasn't. It was the completely wrong arch in the end, wasn't it? Uh, I, I find picking up the quests from the ship itself and the actual hoarder quests from the boat uh, easier to find the buried treasure and I did google it and apparently the ones you pick up from your boat you don't need to be super accurate with X marks the spot there's a lot more leeway with digging whereas if you pick up one from the board instead from like the pier area where you dock your ship. Those ones you have to be very accurate, so I'm probably going to stick to the ones um, initially that are easier. I've just forgotten to do a test actually. Hang on. I'm just going back here because I wanted to test something real quick, chat. 
So let's just see if this works. Oh, my plan doesn't work. I mean, that one's carrying one. What is it it's carrying? Is it not the acorn bit? What is that? Taking a look around. If I could find out what that material is, logic, logic says to me that it would, uh, they would come to ground and I could kill them more easily without having to go high up. And I also failed to mark on the map where that nice area was earlier where I killed a load of these. Need to start marking everything. Anything and everything on the map. Make my life easier on this game. Chicken stir fry, nice. I had a what I like to call a kiddie tea, so I just had fish fingers, waffles, and uh, veg. <laughs> and I had a nice beef and cheese panini for lunch. Dave says the one we found was message in a oh spider the one we found is message in a bottle um and the board ones a player posted yeah I realized that after oh fuck oh Jesus Christ that scared the shit out of me I knew he was there but I thought he couldn't climb up oh my god Raised my heart rate by a ridiculous level. <laughs> but yeah, I found out from doing some research on forums because I was like, due to Google of, of uh, that it's hard to find buried treasure, and then like on the actual Sea of Thieves uh, forum board. Or website or whatever the official area basically uh people are saying yeah if you pick up the ones from the ship there's a lot more leeway but if you're picking up board ones they're player ones and they're, they're you have to be super accurate so found that out that way <laughs> learned something new kiva how many markers does it allow you i don't know but what i will say is every time i place down a flag I can add my own marker and I can choose what colour it is. So I'm assuming that I can just put down multiple of the same markers and even choose different colours if I want to. I can filter them on or off though. Right, which is probably something I would do if I want to. Respawn, trail markers. I think it's in options. You can filter them off if you like. It's totally up to you. Right, uh, craft. Craft the ammo for the bow. If it on the move. All right, that should give me fifty. Now. Yep, so I've got 50 ammo for the, the bow now. Web fiber. I need to scan some of this stuff, honestly.
taking so much with me that I'm starting to run out of space pretty darn easily. Right, so I want to keep on me anything that needs to be scanned, ideally. Right, the bow is in here. Okay, so if I just... Equip it. Have I got to put my arrows somewhere? Oh, you can collect your arrows. Oh my god, that's well nice. I was saying about that. Oh my god, you can collect your arrows. What a quality of life thing. I really thought it was gonna, wasn't going to let me collect arrows, honestly. <laughs> Maybe not all of them. Maybe some of them break. I'm guessing. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Welcome in. Uh, Kiba, that's handy. I've got it downloaded now. Might play it later. It seems like there's enough colour and icon variation. Big pet peeve is most games lack text, tags, or limit the number you can place. Yeah, I don't think you can add tags to them. So I just pick a symbol that is pretty obvious, like, you know, water I put for any of the juice boxes, basically. Um, although I've not been marking all of them. Basically, if I put one of the, the water catchers underneath the straws, I'm putting the water down so I know I can just go and easily collect juice for my uh, water flask. Like so many waypoint markers in games would be immediately better if you could put a text tag like even if it's a small one like 10 characters max would still be huge yeah the weird thing is in small land and i don't know if it's like this on pc so correct me if i'm wrong if anyone's played it but you can place a marker down and you can label it with text but once you've placed it down and labeled it with text it if you look at the marker on the map the text doesn't pop up so what's the point in labelling it with text if the text isn't even on the map when you look at it? <laughs> so basically, <laughs> you've got to try and remember what it is. So that's a weird thing that I don't like on Small Land. Dave, I've been logging into my Microsoft reward points as you can claim them for in-game coins when you have enough. In-game coins? What, for Sea of Peeves are you talking about? I'm getting confused now. <laughs> I hope you feel better soon, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. I just woke up with a really weird, just dry, irritated throat today. And my stomach has been really off and I've just felt really, really tired. And a bit of a headache is coming on now, which is why I'm thinking of clocking off a bit early today. It's about 15 minutes early, so... It's not like super bad, I guess. Um, I think that's fine. I want to keep some of the other stuff on me, obviously, because of scanning it. So I guess I'll save. Oops, did I just create a new save? Nope.
<laughs> yes, on Sea of Thieves, sorry. It's all good, honestly. Like, it's probably just me. Like, my brain is not working now. <laughs> I need to, I need to end, basically. Uh, thank you for an amazing day, everybody. I don't know how much I got done, really. I, I was just having a nice chill time, just exploring and getting some new items and just... Yeah, just having fun, really. It was really nice going under the water in the game and just chilling out other than the spiders constantly trying to kill me. <laughs> but yeah, just to remind everyone again, so if you are getting the game um, and you do want to play with me, I am opening it up to any Discord member to play with me on streams. There won't be commentary of other people. I won't be on headset with other people. Um, but like it's not just locked for it to VIPs to multiplayer this game with me so like if you do want to jump in next week which will be when I'm next streaming on Monday then feel free to do so you just need to join up on Patreon for the $5 tier a month and you will get Discord access and you will be able to play with me VIPs as always will take priority but to be honest I'm not sure how many people are picking up this game so you're probably going to get to play with me quite a lot if you get it. Xbox players, multiplayer is not fixed as of yet. We'll just have to stay tuned to that on their Twitter. They are working on it. I have tried to link my account multiple times, but constantly getting errors and like many other people. So hopefully that gets fixed over this weekend, ready for the next batch of streams next week. We'll just have to see. But if you do join with an existing account with crossplay on PC or Xbox, there will be rules because I don't want to really get carried so you will have to gear down I don't want someone coming in with like overpowered gear and just killing everything for me that's just not fun I still want some challenge so just keep that in mind potentially you you know just bring out some of your older gear I don't care about your defense just your damage output so you can wear whatever armor you like just you know basically just consider not not being overpowered damage wise is what I'm saying so that's pretty much it. Um, thank you all so, so much. Take a look at all the ways to support the channel on the Twitch panels and the YouTube video description with links. We have lots of cool, fun things. Discord via Patreon, as I mentioned. Channel membership and Twitch subscription with emotes and also lots of behind the scenes, cool stuff, cosplays, uh, thoughts, reactions, updates of what I'm doing outside of streams uh, over on my Fansly as well. So do check that out too. But anyways, thank you all for an amazing day. Thank you to uh, Dave once again for that scare earlier. You definitely got me pretty darn mad. <laughs> thank you so, so much. And I look forward to the next episode of uh, Grounded. I'm really enjoying the game. So take it easy, everyone. Have a good few days. And I will see you on Monday for some more Grounded. And fingers crossed, some people joining in. And maybe I won't feel too scared to take on a spider. <laughs> See you later, everyone. See you, my kittens. Love, love, love. Bye-bye.